Based the Kid, the Hardcore Casual, in association with the Undefeated Podcast, proudly sponsored by Disturbing Sports London. And I'm here right now with WBO European Heavyweight Champion David Adelier as he vies to become the Commonwealth and British Heavyweight Champion and also the WBA Continental. How does it feel to have so many belts on the line in your quote unquote step up? Uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. You know, um, I need to get some space for my living room. But yeah, it's going to be nice and lovely. You know, I can't complain. Right, so we've had the press conference, got spicy, got interesting, was very funny on both sides. Now, one thing that was mentioned, um, Fabio Wardley said that you're overconfident. You believe yourself to be at a level that you've never proved to be at. So with that being said, I mean, where does your confidence or overconfidence come from? Within. You know, I don't need to do certain things. Confidence is not given. Confidence is what you have. You know, he was given confidence. You see, he's got to do certain things to get confident. You know, um, I've got to go in with these guys and, you know, he's, 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 he's been given. Same way he's been given is the same way I can take it. You know, um, what you give is what you can take. You can't take my confidence because it's built within me. See the difference between me and him? Like, like, and every time I talk to him, I see it. Like, I just think you just, like, we're so far apart. You're not me. You know, um, and it just tells me time and time again, I see it. So is that ultimately you saying that you don't think he's real? He's not real, he's scripted. You know, he's doing the, the nice boy thing just to make sure things are happy and to keep people happy. You know, the day people turn on Fabio, he'll be pissed. He wouldn't know what's going to happen. I've been living life like that. It doesn't really mean nothing for me. You know, I'm just myself. If they like it, they like it. If they don't, it's like get off the bandwagon. So when you two had your altercation back at the announcement press conference for Fury versus Ngannou, um, once, you know, things happened and obviously he came off on the worst end of everything. Did you in yourself feel like, okay, look, uh, this could have messed up the fight or did yeah, you yeah. or did you more think, well, do you know what? At the end of the day, I just showed him what I'm about and I just saw what he was about. No, it, it could have messed up the fight. It definitely could have because I never went in there with the intentions to try and be bad at him or to try and, you know, shake him up, scare him or just more so his team came with a certain sort of demeanor and we matched the energy and then that's what happened. Um, obviously you think, oh, the fight's not going to happen, but it's not the end of the world. There's other people I can fight. Um, there's another date I can fight. There's going to be bigger fights after the 28th. There's going to be more shows. You know, um, That was my sort of mentality. If it don't happen, it don't happen. Keep it pushing, we'll go elsewhere. Or we'll fight on that day, or I'll fight somebody else. So, But I'm just glad it's him now because it makes the fight bigger. A lot more people are going to be tuning in. And how much more special for you is it that the, you know, the British Boxing Board of Control sanctioned the British title to be on the line for this or did you not even really care about that one? No, I didn't really care. Um, it sounds like I'm being cocky when I say that, but no, it's just, it is what it is. You know, um, the fight's big in itself. They didn't want to put a belt on the line in the beginning, then it's now it's on the line, so it's, yeah, it's all right. So as far as you're concerned, that's just them realising that it was a worthy, a worthy thing for them to put that title up. Yeah, because if you think about it now, when I beat him, how are they going to call him the British champion? Realistically, what is it? What's going to happen? You can't walk back to, you can't come back to the UK saying he's the British champion after he's been knocked out. So it's only right they put it on the line. I think they probably put it on the line just to save their skin, not because they really wanted to. Obviously, they just know after I deal with him, it's, it's going to be a thing where he's got. A, basically be stripped of the title so everything at the moment so far seems to be on your terms like you've I guess you pulled up to his press conference uh, you felt like you got the better of that exchange at the uh, you know the announcement press conference I guess you probably feel you got the better of that exchange now it's on TNT Sports Box Office your platform um, and well this one it was, it was nip and tuck that's what I'm going to say it was back and forth <laughs> uh, the face I got the better yeah everything's on my side I'm like 3 4 new up you know, but I ain't about collecting points. I'm just about knocking them out. You know, well, does that almost put more pressure on you, though? Because you feel like you're the home fire. You've got everything on your side. So does that give you more of an impetus to have to deliver on the night? No, I just gotta go out there and be myself, have fun. Right, neither of you have gone past six rounds before. So if the fight even gets to the second half, how do you know that you can dig into the well and actually, you know, take it to those later rounds and yeah, get this factory? I myself through it in training camp. I hate training. Training camp was, I hate it. It's not nice. It's, it's nitty gritty. Um, I put myself through it. Because I put myself through it, I know what I can do. So. Okay. Um, last one from me. So, 
if for any reason like things don't end up going your way what do you think the the next path would be like that do you feel like okay i've got to now deviate and go on a separate trajectory would you want to run it back like how would you how would you process that just because sometimes we have to think about okay worst case scenario so that i know i don't want to be in that position it's not gonna happen i have to let you finish your question first but plain and simple it's not gonna happen i hear that all right look david delia thank you very much for your time and respect